the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. I ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse with rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. <laughs> Whoa, there, horsey! Pardon, Bungle. I said, ee <laughs> Bungle, horses don't go, ee Donkeys go, ee Yes, Bungle, you're supposed to be a horse. Oh, yes, I know that, clever clogs. Well, go on, then. Make the sound of a horse. All right, then, Zippy. Um, uh, <laughs> you don't know how to, do you? Uh, yes, I do. It's just a... Uh, I've just forgotten. <laughs> Are you all right, George? Oh, yes, Bungle. I was just pretending to be a horse. Nay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm fed up with being a horse. I'm going to see what Geoffrey's up to. <laughs> Trot off then, Bungle Bods. He might have some hay for you to eat. <laughs> George, Zippy, <laughs> look what we've got! Careful, my oh, oh, boy! Look, George! Oh, oh, oh. A horsey! Oh. That's right, George. It's my old rocking horse I had when I was a boy. Oh, sit on oh. it, Geoffrey. All right, then. <laughs> there we go. How's that? <laughs> Gee up, Nelly, to the fair. <laughs> what shall we buy when we get there? A penny apple or a penny pear? Gee up, Nelly, to the fair. <laughs> 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 Go on, Bungle. You have a go. Oh, can I, Geoffrey? Yes, yeah, of course you can, Bungle. On you get there. Oh. Oh, don't there. fall off, Bungle uh, Bods. Right. Ready? Right. Gee up, up Nelly, to, to the fair. fair. Oh, what shall we buy when we get, get there? A penny apple, oh, a penny pear. Gee up, Nelly, to the fair. fair. <laughs> Yee-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Wild Bill Bungle, the fastest cowboy in the West. Oh, oh. Uh, Geoffrey, have you ever been for a ride on a real horse? Oh, no, Bungle, I haven't. I tell you what, let's have a look at some real horses now, shall we? I'm going to be, pretend to be show jumpers now. I'm going to jump over all these different fences. Okay. Uh, come on, Jeffrey. You start first. Yeah. Oh, uh, the winner will be the first to go round without knocking anything over. Are you ready? Right, ready? Stop, stop. Oh, oh, oh come on. Hey. Oh, that's not hey. good. Hey. Oh, oh, what a good horsey. Oh, hey. oh, yeah. Easy, easy. Oh, oh. oh no, no. no. You've not won down yet. All right. I, I, I'm going to go next. No, no, you're not. It's got to be Bungle's turn. Yes, next. it's my turn now. Yes. Well, yes. Ready? Yes. Yes. All right, Bungle. Just a minute. Yes. Are you ready, Jeffrey? Yes. Off you right. go, then. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> oh, come on, Bungle. Oh, <laughs> that's two, three. Oh, no, no. Hey. 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 Oh, the winner is Bungle. Uh, come on, Bungle, and get your prize. Oh, but you too, Jeffrey. Oh, thank you so much. 
Oh, that's not much of a prize. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? It's a horse. I made it myself with pipe cleaners. Oh, horses aren't green. Horses are brown, aren't they, Geoffrey? Well, not only brown. Some horses are black and some are white. Geoffrey, <laughs> I've seen some horses that are black and white. Mm. Yes, quite right, George. They're called piebald horses. Piebald? What a funny name. As some horses are brown and white, they're called skewbald. <laughs> skewbald? <laughs> no, Sippy, not skewbald. Skewbald. Oh. I think it's time I had a song now, don't you? Actually, Rod, Jane and Freddy had an adventure the other day with a very friendly old horse. Jogging on along with us, you sing a little song with us and everyone will hear what you say. Old oh, no. Fun. Dressing up the horse and cart, the party's just begun. We've made a cake for Dobbin, but we'll save it till the end. Let's sing happy birthday to our good old faithful friend. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. a lovely song from Rod, Jane and Freddy. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> We've seen so many horses, I didn't know that there were so many different kinds. Oh, I did, yes. I mean, I know everything about horses. Ooh, zippy. I wish we could have a horse. A real horse, I mean. Ooh, well, they take a lot of looking after, Bungle. Anyway, where would you keep it? Ah. Uh, oh, couldn't I keep it in my bedroom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Bungle, I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> don't you know anything, Bungle? Horses live in fields. I mean, everyone knows that. Yes, and stables. If you don't forget the stables, in the wintertime when the weather's really cold. 
Jeffrey, horses eat grass in hay, don't they? Yes, they do, George. And carrots and apples, too. Well, let's have a look at some more horses, shall we? But this time, we're going to see how they're looked after and kept clean. What lovely horses. Uh, yes, but they need us a lot of brushing. Uh, can we have a story about a horse, Geoffrey? Oh, yes. Oh, right, yes. Well, how about a Tat the Cat story? <laughs> tat the Cat? Yes. He lives on a farm, doesn't he? And you see horses on a farm, George. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Quite right, if you do see horses, don't you? Well, let's see if we can find a Tat the Cat story. Yes, here we are. Now then. Tat and Alexander sat by the pond in the warm sunshine, watching the three posh ducks swimming and splashing about in the water. Then Tat gave a great big sigh. <sighs> Alexander opened one large yellow eye and looked at his little friend. Whatever's the matter? he asked. Well, nothing really, answered Tat. I I'm just missing Emmanuel. Never mind. Emmanuel will be home tomorrow, replied Alexander. And just think of all the interesting things he'll have to tell you about his holiday. Well, that's just it, said Tat. Nothing's happened to me since he's been away. Well, perhaps something will happen today. It just so happens that Oscar and I have a wee surprise for you, continued Alexander. Well, Tat's face lit up. What is it? What is it? he asked. Alexander stood up. Follow me, he said. So Tat followed the big black cat to the paddock, where Oscar was waiting for them. Hello, Tat, said Oscar. Have you come to meet our new friend? Oh, yes, please, said Tat. Then look into the paddock and you'll see her, replied Oscar. Tat did so. And there she was, a very large horse. <gasps> Gosh, said Tat. She's very big and beautiful. What's her name? Sheba, replied Oscar. Tat walked to the fence and Sheba came to meet him. Good morning, said the little cat. How are you? Sheba gave Tat a big smile. Tat had never seen so many teeth before. Hello, lovely to meet you, said Sheba. You sound like Jones, said Tat. Well, that's not surprising, love. You see, I come from Wales too. I'm a Welsh cob. Well, can you sing like Jones too, asked Tat. Well, of course I can. And Sheba started to sing, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And Tat joined in, and Oscar and Alexander put their paws over their heads. Tat and Sheba started to laugh as they watched Oscar and Alexander walking away. Well, Tat spent most of the day talking to the big horse, and then it was time for him to return to the barn. As Tat walked home, he felt very pleased with himself. Now he had something to tell Emmanuel. Oh, oh, thank you very much, Jeffrey. Well, Fred, it's time to say goodbye to you now. But have a think about horses. Or perhaps you'd like to draw a picture of a horse, would you? We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.